Oh, thank you. Damn, it's a hot, wonderful night. I want to thank the people who came up to me today and said, hot enough for you? I said, no, I like the sweat to run down the crack of my ass like Niagara. <laughs> yeah. That's hot enough for me. No, I want to look like I'm lactating under my man titties. That's hot enough for me. No, it's not hot enough. I want my balls to be down to the floor. But the good news about hot weather is all the ladies wear their little tank tops and take the twins for a walk. <laughs> yes. There is that wonderful thing when you do see the beautiful breasts. And I'm, I'm talking like the way God made them when they move. When you see a woman running and they're like, hello, but hi, yeah, hi, yeah. You go, yes, yes. That's how they should be. And when it's cold, they go, chicken's done. Yes. Thank you very much. It's so lovely to see real titties again. <laughs> Fake tits are like Nazis. They don't dance. They don't laugh. They're just... <clears throat> well, I've seen tits in Vegas and even God went, I didn't make those. <laughs> the ones that point toward north. And I've seen nipples in the wrong place where they're actually peeking out over the bra like Kilroy. Like, how you doing? <laughs> Bad way to go. These are also women who've had so much plastic surgery, they're like... What are these lumps under my eyes? Those are your tits, madam. <laughs> and what's this? Don't ask. <laughs> it is unwanted facial hair, but leave it. And women are getting Botox injections, and 25-year-old girls are getting Botox injections because I don't have any wrinkles. I also don't have any expression. <laughs> It's like I've had a mild stroke, but I feel so good about myself. <laughs> I love it when Michael Jackson said he's had no plastic surgery. I went, oh, no. <laughs> Michael, who was the best man at Liza's wedding, and that's kind of pushing the term in many ways. <laughs> what was Richard Simmons hunting? What happened? <laughs> if you ever go to Neverland, there's a little sign that says you must be this high to ride Michael. Now. Now, ladies, if you're a man, you love a man, your big daddy says, oh, baby, I want you to get your tits done for me. I want you to get those big old fun pillows. And you say, okay, daddy man, then I want you to get your balls done for me. I want you to get those big old Voight basketballs. Ready to work. So when you go running down the beach like Baywatch, it'll be blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah-bl
It's not the end of civilization, but you can see it from there. <laughs> Woo, boy, and she went right for Paula, too. She went right for Paula's nose, and Paula's going, not the nose, that's the Clinton money. <laughs> Next week, the Nixon daughters battle for the library money. Turn left. My bitches are gonna go at it, you'll see. This is the point where even Caligula goes, oh, please. My God, because you have the chamber, the chair, the fear factor. People in Texas are going, we got those shows. Get ready to turn right. We just don't film it. Turn right. The Supreme Court passed a law that it's no longer okay to execute the retarded, and people in Texas are going, shit, where's the fun now? <laughs> they used to zap retarded people all the time, like, go sit on Santa's lap. <laughs> Damn. But of course, the definition of retarded in Texas is pretty wide. You got a lot of room there. And they were gonna execute a guy there who had only one leg, and they weren't gonna give him the wooden leg to walk the last mile. It was gonna be dead men hopping. Come on, Tommy. Five, 10, 15, 20. But in the Olympics, that whole figure skating thing, all the judging also brought up the point to me that Figure skating, pair skating is pretty sexy. Now, I'm not talking ice dancing, which is like polka on Valium. That's different. <laughs> right next to curling in terms of hot fun. Now, <laughs> but pairs figure skating gets pretty hot sometimes. There's especially that one lift where the male figure skater grabs the female figure skater right here. <laughs> Even a gynecologist would go, put on a glove. <laughs> it's that lift that goes, who's your daddy, who's your daddy, who's your daddy? Uh, and you could see her going, put me down or buy me dinner. And, uh, oh. When I'm saying, let's go the full distance, let's have ice fucking, come on. The lift and. And she holds on without her hands. Oh, oh. Oh. Even the French judge would go, I like it. <laughs> it's amazing, too, the Olympics. There's other sexual things. There's the luge. Right I just want to know, and then turn what right. drunken Swiss gynecologist invented that sport? <laughs> what guy wins? You know what? Turn I want right. to dress like a sperm. Shove a skate in my ass and go balls first down an ice chute. Yeah. That will be fun. How will you steer? I will do kegels. I will flex my ass and go down the ice chute. And don't talk to me about the two man luge. I'm saying, boys, get a room. Come on. Going down the run like, oh, oh. oh. There's a turn up ahead, go for it. <laughs> Woo! You get to the end of the run going, I'm sorry, man, I got wood. Keep that last turn, you do oh, good boy. It was like that time we were duck hunting, it was great. <laughs> oh, we lost because of you, your penis Very going left. <laughs> Two one hundredths of a second wind resistance, we lost. And there's always some horrible drug scandal. This year was a Spanish cross-country skier named Johan Mulig from the old Spanish Mulig family. He tested positive for elephant growth hormone. You know. They didn't bother drug testing the snowboarders. They just went, oh, fuck, go on. Get out. Move! I guess they realized the word half-pipe may mean something. Like the kid from Long Island who won the gold medal in the freestyle, they said, do you want to be in a box of Wheaties? He went, no, Count Chocula. <laughs> Unlike a poor Canadian snowboarder in the 1998 Olympics, he tested positive for marijuana, which is kind of redundant to begin with. And they said that marijuana was a performance-enhancing drug. <laughs> it enhances many things, colors, tastes, sensations but it certainly doesn't make you feel fucking empowered. <laughs> you're lucky if you can find your goddamn feet when you're stoned. Oh, yeah. there they are! Oh. The only way it's a performance-enhancing drug 
is if there's a big Hershey bar at the end of the run. And then you will be down there. You'll be moving like a little soldier in Toy Story. Like They asked for the Canadian snowboarder's metal back yeah. and he couldn't find it. It's around his neck. Oh, get out of here, little crazy canoe. <laughs> I have a friend, Lance Armstrong. He cycles in the Tour de France every year. La Mont de Viano! La Tour du Lens! He's won three, maybe four this year, but the French were always going, he's on some sort of chemicals. It's chemotherapy, you ass. <laughs> okay, okay. He's got one testicle, he's aerodynamic. Everybody cut off your balls, you'll be quicker. It was nice though that they had the Olympics in Utah, which is such a party state to begin with. I guess Amish country was booked, so they... <laughs> Come on down, we don't drink, we don't smoke, we don't even drink caffeine. We're gonna party like it's 1959. <laughs> Bring your wives. Oops, come on. And at the closing ceremony, they introduced Donnie and Marie as the first couple of Utah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And I went, honey, they're not a couple in Utah, only in Arkansas are they a couple. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they were saying the security was amazing in Utah. I'm going, it's the whitest fucking state in the union. Of course it will be. An Arab in Utah is basically like an albino at the Apollo. You would notice. <laughs> Hello, I found one. I'm merely 10. Oh, fuck, okay. All the dogs looking for anthrax are going, Shit, there's white powder everywhere. <laughs> I feel very bad. Those dogs have to smell out anthrax, cocaine, all sorts of different drugs that go back to their cage at the end of the day going... I can't taste my ass. I don't know why. <laughs> oh! 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 oh ha, it's my tail. But... But we know this, we know that every so often Rumsfeld comes out and goes, I don't know where, I don't know when, but something awful is going to happen. <laughs> That's all for today, no further questions. <laughs> well, well, can you give me a clue? <laughs> what is it, the Central Intuitive Agency now? <laughs> Are you working with Miss Cleo? Is that what's up? <laughs> oh, no. I don't know where, I don't know when, but something awful is going to happen. And definitely don't marry that fat man, he only wants you for your money, girl. People are suing Miss Cleo for fraud. I went, fucking duh. <laughs> My God, man. It's like buying hair care products from Cher, man. She's wearing a wig, come on. That's why you have to take that little abdominal thing, the one that's supposed to make you lose weight while you sit your fat ass in front of the TV going, I am losing weight, exercising. No, all you're doing is shocking your flabby fat ass. No. Do this. Strap it to your head. And go, I will not buy stupid shit for no reason. Because we have to have our mental facilities intact. I remember when they first sent the anthrax in the mail, people were going, don't open your mail. I went, why? There's white powder in envelopes. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, uh, I'm afraid I used to look for that. <laughs> Would you inhale it? Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Your mother and I weren't online, we did lines, yeah. Yeah, and there were ninjas on the lawn trying to kill us. <laughs> and now there are people trying to kill us. <laughs> Remember when they sent anthrax to Dashiell's office in Congress? They cleaned that place up immediately. It's like hazmat suits. They get everybody out of Congress. Come on, everybody out! Everybody out! And the congressman came out going, but the rest of you go about your lives. <laughs> we'll be underground totally safe. <laughs> They're wheeling out Strom Thurmond and Jesse Helms, and Jesse's going, is this about that little Jewish girl? No, that's Anne Frank, sir. Come on. <laughs> Gotta go. You know, the Confederate flag is just a symbol of states' rights. And a swastika is just a Tibetan good luck charm. Now, come on. <laughs> I
I do believe there is a cure for whatever's out there, whatever bioterrorism weapon they may use against us. And it lies within Keith Richards, I think that. I believe Keith is the only man who can go, anthrax. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, doesn't go with my E. coli. <laughs> Keith Richards is the only man to make the Osbournes look fucking Amish. He can go to a drug dealer and the guy's going, I'm out, man. <laughs> I don't know what to do, baby. You've done everything. Damn, man. These are troubled times, my friend. Hardcore security in New York. Yes, Washington. Yes, San Francisco. Not so hardcore. Keep Golden Gate Bridge, at one end there's a Hummer, and I'm talking about the car. <laughs> two National Guardsmen in that Hummer. At the other end, another Hummer with two National Guardsmen. Problem is, the Hummer and the National Guardsmen are in jungle camouflage. <laughs> For those of you who have ever been to San Francisco, the bridge is bright orange. <laughs> so you feel like going, be very, very quiet. <laughs> I'm looking for terrorists. <laughs> and airport security, airport security used to be a little lax. I know it used to be, okay, get on the plane. Come on, get on the plane. Okay, ma'am, hold on one moment. What is this? It's a gun. Okay, get on the plane. <laughs> now you can't even carry nail clippers on a plane. What are they afraid you're gonna do? Like, open the fucking cockpit door or the bitch loses a cuticle. <laughs> I've got an emery board, I can file my way in. You go through the metal detector now and if you're pierced, like some of you are, and they go, eep, take out your keys, tip of the iceberg. <laughs> Ears, okay, nose, gone, tongue, great. Nipple, nipple, fine. Boom. Mr. Wonderman, thank you. May I borrow that Black & Decker tool? Thank you. For those playing the home game, this is called a Prince Albert. And I'm sure that was his last wish. I'm sure Albert said, Victoria, I'm dying. I want you to name a hall, a museum, and a boat through the cock after me. That will be Victoria's Secret. Go sell flimsy teddies. Go, my darling. And I'm talking heavy piercing, not Britney Spears. I'm a virgin. Yeah, Michael Jackson's a father. Move on. Now, I'm talking big nipple rings, like, you know, ones that you hang off there going, what are you going to do, tie up a pony? No. Or you have one nipple ring here, one nipple ring here, so you can have his and her towels. Yay! His and his, a little towel down here to wash up. Yay! But the fun one for me is when you see a girl who has a post through her tongue and you go, why did you do that? It's to enhance my boyfriend's sexual pleasure. <laughs> Nothing drives him crazy like the feel of cold steel on his hot rail. <laughs> but eventually the metal knocks out all of my teeth and I have to live in a trailer park with a man named Bubba. <laughs> That's the trade-off, honey. So, you know, what you want to try is, I never had um, Playboy or Penthouse when I was growing up. I only had... <laughs> I know. <laughs> you psychic bitch, I know you. <laughs> You're ahead of me. You know where I'm going. I'm going towards National Geographic. Come in, come in, come in, come in. <laughs> yes. And I'm talking about the girls with the slinky neck. Do that. Watch your mom go, oh, shit. <laughs> come down the stairs like, I'm going to come in, come in, come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. Or if you really want to get grandma crazy, do the full you bangy. Come on, go, Mom, Dad? <laughs> it's also a CD player. <laughs> now you get on a plane, there's usually some sweet southern stewardess will come on if you're getting on a plane in Georgia and go, Ladies and gentlemen, before we get on this flight, we're just going to have a few random bag checks. These are totally random. I'm just going to read off a few names. <laughs> Hassan bin Singh? Achim bin Lay? Haven bin Fogged? Judy Smith? 14 Arabs and a blonde, and every black man and every Hispanic man in the room is going, Thank you, God! We're off the list, motherfucker! Get ready, Habib, it's your turn now! And now they pat down everybody. They take away knitting needles from old ladies. Why am I going to knit an afghan? Fuck you. 
They're patting down a five-year-old kid. He's going, what are you doing? You're not a priest. Let go of me. Aha! I see. So you've had Father McFeely's private pat and chat, too. Oh, it's always amazing. It wasn't just that they would catch him, but that they had that, you know, divine witness Keep protection right. program. Here's the priest, here's the pedophile. Find the right. priest, find the pedophile, find the priest, find the pedophile. <laughs> Moving him around, moving him around. Find a home away from Rome. Here we go, here we go, there we go, and around they go. Say, hey, don't ask, don't tell, or you're going to end up in a room in hell. Go, moving around, moving him. But even the Pope got all the cardinals together and went, <laughs> What are you doing? The problem is, he's dressed like Liberace's stunt doubles. <laughs> and your purse is on fire. But you have to remember, boys and girls, it's not just a sin, it's a felony. So we gotta keep track. <laughs> now, back to our in-flight movie. Remember when you used to get on the planes before 9-11? The pilots would come on and give you that whole Chuck Yeager. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Had a couple of cocktails. <laughs> Feeling pretty good. Let's take this sucker down to the end of the runway and see what she'll do. Now they come on and go, I love all of you. We are family. Then the stewardess comes out and goes, in case of a cabin emergency, a small Louisville slugger will fall from the ceiling. Remember to take it in both hands, aim for the head, groin, and knees. Keep hitting the assailant till the fucker is unconscious. Now. Because now, on the red-eye flight, which used to be you'd take any medication you had and go, hey, you'd wake up in Tokyo. Hey, this isn't Cleveland. No, it is not. Now, people on the red-eye are wide awake, looking around the entire cabin. <laughs> looking for anyone who ordered the hummus. <laughs> Scare it! Because now we are under the auspices of Homeland Security. We had to be very careful picking that name. You couldn't say Fatherland Security because old Germans are going, that's very good. <laughs> but Homeland Security sounds like Home Front Security, which was England during World War II. Old men with pitchforks and colostomy bags defending the Home Front. <laughs> there they were. I captured Rudolf Hess, his plane crashed. I threw my colostomy bag, covered him in shite, and said, get out of that fucker, you fucker. And I find out now that Winston Churchill, the greatest orator of all time, was so fucked up on champagne and cognac that he may not have done some of his own speeches. They were done by a man from the BBC who did Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> we will fight them on the beaches, in the air, on the land. Eeyore and Tigger! Once again, we look to England for great oratory. Tony Blair, militant liberal. Over here in America, George W. Bush, compassionate conservative. I don't know what that is, really. It kind of sounds like a Volvo with a gun rack. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. Over here, Tony Blair, a man who must address the House of Commons, which is like Congress with a two-drink minimum. <laughs> they yell shit back. It's like, my worthy opponent, oh, fuck off. Eat shite, you buggery bastard! Move on! Will someone remove Mrs. Thatcher from the hall, please? But after 9-11, it was Tony who said, This heinous incident has brought our civilization to the edge of oblivion, but we shall endure. And there's poor W going, Shit, I can't even spell that. <laughs> Damn! You know, you look at him, he's got a short attention span. He's going, I know our economy. Oh, look at the kitty. It's got to have backup. Basically, if you look at it in the classical sense, it's Secundo Juncia, George II, the boy king, a man we thought could only lose, but somehow won because of confused Hebrews. Yes! <laughs> yes! Some men are born great, some achieve greatness, some get it as a graduation gift. That's okay! Because here's the thing. Notice, W doesn't speak while Cheney's drinking water. Check that shit out. With Cheney, though, even when he had angioplasty, you know, blessed are the pacemakers, they protected him. He walked out that next day. He was there, ready to go again. Some people would let it heal. No, he's like, I am perfectly fine. 
And there's Ashcroft in the back going, work the arms, you prick, work the arms. <laughs> you have to remember one thing. John Ashcroft is a man who lost to a dead man in Missouri. <laughs> in Missouri, the choices were dead man, John Ashcroft. And the people in Missouri and their wisdom went, sorry, John, but I'm gonna have to vote for the dead man because he scares me less than you do. <laughs> now, it doesn't scare me that W waved at Stevie Wonder. That's okay. <laughs> now, come on. Stevie's only been blind since birth. <laughs> Stevie! <laughs> Even Stevie's going, is that motherfucker waving at me? Man. What scares me is that W almost died from a pretzel. <laughs> we have billions of dollars in National Security Secret Service men talking into their sleeves. They have spy satellites, F-18 flying air cover for Washington, and he goes down from fucking snack food. <laughs> Secret Service are going, game's over, man. Gilligan's down, Gilligan's down. What do we have to do? Does someone have to sit with him and go, chew, sir? <laughs> now fluid, sir! <laughs> Even his own dogs didn't give a shit. <laughs> they were licking him for the salt. <laughs> you need a dog that cares. A dog that'll go get help, like Lassie. A dog that'll go, woo, woo, woo. What is it, Lassie? The president swallowed something and we need to do the Heimlich? Woo, woo. What else is wrong, girl? Woo, 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 woo. Mr. Cheney's meeting with the Enron people? <laughs> woo, woo, woo. And giving tax rebates? Woo, woo. And there's a lot of former Enron employees in the White House? Woo, 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 woo. Sorry, girl, we're gonna have to put you down now. <laughs> because... Remember the first day they caught W, he wasn't prepared, and they said, Mr. Bush, what are we gonna do? And he said, well, we're gonna go after these folks and conduct a crusade. And everybody in the room went, ooh. <laughs> Ixne on the Ukraine, say. <laughs> All throughout the Middle East, Allah Falam! They're coming back! Hide the women and children in the number zero! And then, he said, we're gonna bomb the Afghanis back to the Stone Age. And the Afghanis went, ooh, upgrade. <laughs> oh, great. As we see here, today's bombing has enlarged the hole from yesterday's bombing. <laughs> we have moved rubble from here to here. <laughs> In the upper right-hand corner, a goat, possible member of the Taliban, or concubine. <laughs> we have fired the $100 million cruise missile up the goat's ass, and we're successful. Operation Extreme Redundancy is carrying on. And then we started dropping bombs. Food. Food. Bombs. And here's the fun part. Some of the bombs were little yellow bombs, and the food packages were little yellow packages. So now you're playing Survivor the real game. What was in those packages? Pop-tarts. Peanut butter, all you need is a honey baked ham and you got a redneck Christmas. <laughs> Why are they dropping Pop Tarts and peanut butter on a Muslim country? First of all, very difficult to have a call to jihad with a mouthful of peanut butter. <laughs> Secondly, Afghanistan is a hashish smoking culture, and anyone who has ever been a friend of the hookah will go. Because what we are trying to do, we are trying to win hearts and minds. How do we do this? Ah, do we build a big Muslim amusement park called Muslim Mountain with Gaddafi Duck? No. Do we have a wet burqa contest? No. Do we play Cat Stevens records all day? No. Oh, fuck no. Do we have a children's show called Saudi Doody? No. What you must do is you got to get a sister to get over there. Get Sister Shanika. Drop her ass over there and she'll be gone. Girl, you do not have to dress like a motherfucking beekeeper. 
Mm -mm. Who are we looking for? We are looking for a man, Osama bin Laden, one of 52 children. Even Freud would say he has issues. Okay, let's he find a, a six new foot rap. five Arab on dialysis. Go straight on. Why is that so fucking hard to find? <laughs> Look for someone attached to their luggage going. Never mind. I'll find a new route. He is also, as we've seen from the tapes, a psychopath. And I went, how do you fight left, the psychopath? And Wait then turn minute. left. We've got some of our own. <laughs> In San Quentin, we've got some good old boys Finding with some time on route. the hands. You got Theodore Kaczynski Reading sitting there with nothing to do. <laughs> Ted's played a beautiful mind the home game. Please. Make a U-turn. He gives Ted possible. some tools and a mailing list. <laughs> Ted'll do it. Ted'll take it out. You say to Ted, these people are bad. Are they bad? Oh, very bad. <laughs> I need, we know what you need. Here they are. <laughs> we'll deliver them for you. <laughs> are they hurting the environment? Oh, it's horribly. There's Charles Manson, a good organizer, great with chicks. <laughs> we have one very fundamental problem with this fundamentalism. In a jihad, which sounds like a country western term, jihad, but in the process of a jihad, if you die Turn in the process left. of killing an infidel, which I'm sad to Never say is mind. all of us, I'll find a new route. You'll go to heaven and be greeted by 71 dark-haired virgins. Now, anyone who's ever been Turn with one virgin right. is going, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> For my talent portion, no, no. <laughs> no, no, wait a minute. But then, recently in an article in the New York Times, Koran Scholar said, it is not 71 dark-haired versions, but 71 crystal clear raisins. <laughs> Slight difference in translation. We it's rally. like finding out thou shalt not kill is thou shalt not quilt. And the Amish are going, shit, we could have had guns all along, Ezekiel. It's like somebody kills himself, goes to the gates of heaven going, where are my bitches? Here are your raisins. Because I do believe that one day Osama will show up to the gates of heaven. There will be George Washington standing with a small bat going, how dare you defile that which we can. Turn left. And starts wailing on his ass. And then the 70 other members of the Continental Congress come down and start kicking the shit out of Osama. And Osama and starts going, what is this? Where are the virgins? It's 71 Virginians, you asshole. Karma! Enough of the karma! I must talk to Jesus Christ. Where is Jesus Christ? And St. Peter goes, hey, Jesus, did you call a cab? <laughs> Aha! I see we have crossed the PC line. It's okay to kick the shit out of him, but don't make the ethnic joke. Aha! Because I don't understand the whole fundamentalist thing, you see, I, I'm an Episcopal, that's Catholic light. You know? Same religion, half the guilt. You know, Catholics, you know, you've got confession. Episcopals, we've got Thanksgiving where Dad has a couple of gin and tonics. You know? I never loved your mother, you know that, don't you? But that's because the Episcopal Church was basically a Protestant church. It was Henry VIII going, I'm Pope now, ha, 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 ha. But then there were other Protestants who thought he was too loose, and then they formed the Puritans, our ancestors. People so uptight, the English kicked them out. <laughs> How fucking anal do you have to be for the English to say, get the fuck out. Take your little pimp shoes, get on the sunflower, and go. And they land in America going, hello, we bring you guilt, syphilis, and alcohol. And the Indians go, oh, we have a gift for you. For us, it is a medicinal and sacred herb. But for you, it'll be an addictive carcinogen. Enjoy. And I think you'll enjoy tobacco for many years. Hey, 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 Seven. Hey, hey, hey. First chair. This is my wife, sits with a full house. <laughs> Welcome to Custer's, a casino that cares. It is now time for the white man to get drunk and we will get back the land you took from us. <laughs> you see, 
It is the thing about your religions. Your fundamentalists basically take the word to be the word. It cannot be interpreted. It is not a metaphor. Like I said, what about Genesis? In the beginning, let there be light. Could it be a metaphor for the Big Bang, the creation of the universe in that instant? No, God just went click. I do believe there's miracles in the Bible. I'm talking about Moses and Pharaoh, yes. That time Moses said, let my people go. Why can't you? And Pharaoh went, in your dreams. And Moses went, all right, Mr. Big Shot, called to God going, God, hello, I need a big thing. And frogs fell from the sky. Maybe they fell from the sky, or maybe it was just a lot of Jews with catapults going, no. And thank God it was the Egyptians and not the French, because the French would be going, oh, lunch. Why should we let you go? You're great caterers. I like these people, eh? But I thought, wait a minute. Maybe that's what we should drop on Afghanistan. Not bombs, food, but frogs, lizards, hamsters, gerbils, shit they haven't seen. And if you want people out of caves, a couple of New York rats. Oh. One New York rat is better than any cruise missile. It's just like, hey, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> the fuck? Oh, rage. Ha, 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 ha. I eat pussy, literally. Bring it on! <laughs> but back to the pharaoh. It took more. It took boils. And even then, the pharaoh's going, I'm pissed, but Keep I'm not letting right. you go. Finally, firstborn dies. That's right. it! Jews, out! And the Jews are going, all right, everybody, Manish Tadanoi, we're leaving! Exit Don't wait right. for the bread to rise. Just take the crackers and the skin off your penis. We're traveling. Let's go. Keep right. And Why the skin off a penis? Right. We're traveling, people. We don't want sand in there. Let's go. Turn traveling right. through the desert to get the Ten Commandments. Those will be adjusted as we go along. Then they get to the sea, and then they're going, what now, Mr. David Copperfield? And Moses goes, Sha, Sha, calls to God, God, hello, another one. The seas part, and even the most doubting Jew is going, you're very good. Go straight on. All right, everybody, let's go. Don't eat the shellfish. I'll tell you why later. Let's go. Where are we going? To Jerusalem, the promised land, and later to Miami to fuck up an election. Let's go. There was another miracle. The night Mary said to Joe, Joe, I'm pregnant. <laughs> and Joe went, holy mother of God. And she went, yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Joe, that's a great name! <laughs> what are you talking about, Mary? Wait a minute here. You're a virgin. Uh-huh. And you've got God's kid. Uh-huh. So I'm the stepfather of God's kid? Oh, come on. I can't discipline him. I go to hit him. He's gonna go, you're not my real dad. You know that. <laughs> and I gotta haul your ass all the way to Bethlehem? How did this happen? It's immaculate. It better be immaculate, Mary. I'm sorry I turned Joseph into Ralph Cramden, but it seemed necessary. <laughs> But here's the deal. Up until then, in the Bible, the Old Testament, all Go the names are very Jewish. And then keep Samuel, right. Samuel, Noah, Moses, Zebedee, and then Mary and Joe. Keep right, and then turn Pretty right. goyish names. We are just a hyphen it away from Mary Jean and Joe Bob. We could have had Jim Bob, the son of God. Right now, we could be going, praise to him, Jim Bob. He who keeps us here and finds us a job, Jim Bob! And another miracle was Jesus was an only child, because who would want to be Jerry, the brother of Christ? <laughs> Jewish families have enough dysfunction without that. About Jerry, go, go to the beach on. with your brother. Why, Mom? He's just going to walk on the water, heal everybody, and then feed him. All I'm going to have is sand in my ass. He ends up in a bar in his age, he's like 30 years old, going, yeah, I'm Jerry Christ, you know who's brother. <laughs> yep, he's a carpenter, I'm a plumber, you do the math. <laughs> Some people say Jesus wasn't Jewish, I mean, of course he was Jewish. He's 30 years old, single, living at home. <laughs> Working in his father's business, his mother thought he was God's gift, he was Jewish, give it up. If he was Jewish for the Last Supper, wouldn't they have gone out for Chinese? Yes! <laughs> Welcome to Yahweh. Oh, you got no sandals, no service. How many? You got 12 in your party? Hold on. One. I only got two tables of six. One here and one here. Don't go in the back. Punches is all fucked up. Don't go in there. Hold on one moment. 
I got one big table by the window, but you all have to face this way. All right. Wow, you just turned such one chicken into a live chicken. That's very good. How many? 12 separate Both checks. Oh, I'll pay for this dollar paper. <laughs> Who had the bread? And the next day, the miracle happened. Go he was crucified, on. dead, buried, and rose again from the dead. And if he sees his shadow, Go another 2,000 years of guilt. Now, here's my one question. How do you get crucifixion, resurrection, and then chocolate bunnies, colored eggs? <laughs> Wild stretch. Even kids are going, rabbits don't lay eggs. This is a real stretch. Where are you going with this? <laughs> That's really a miracle if a rabbit passes an egg. And I know you don't want to see a little kid bite the head off a chocolate Jesus. Keep That's not right. good. And then turn right. A little cream filled cross going, <laughs> no, you don't want that. And you don't want to be turn putting right. raspberry jam in the grass going, let's find Jesus. Come on. Go but then you have on. the saints, people who did amazing things. But now we're letting some of them go, like Christopher. They're going, get ready to Chris, turn I'm right. sorry. Dashboard sales are down. <laughs> Metals aren't selling very turn well. Right. Drop the kid off your back. Pick up your shit. We're moving on. Come on. We're going to have St. Prada, Our Lady of Accessories. Come on. <laughs> but I want a saint, though, a saint who's done amazing things like Mother Teresa. Oh, yes, Pat Robinson said Mother Teresa wasn't a real Get Christian. Why, because well, she didn't have a university and a tax shelter? Come on, Pat. <laughs> Mother Teresa never had a product line. She never had a perfume. Mother Turn Teresa's left. compassion. I smell because I care. Compassion. <laughs> Or Gandhi never had Gandhi jeans. You Whether you're telling the English to get out or not eating at all, Gandhi jeans, they come in size one and below. <laughs> because Gandhi was an amazing man. They said to Gandhi, they said, Gandhi ji, what do you think of Western civilization? He said, I think it would be a wonderful idea. Where to go, Gandhi? And I know, as amazing as he was, there was probably somebody in a Bombay bar going, I don't know, Gandhi. He was a prick. <laughs> I saw him sucking on a pork hot dog, hitting on Mother Teresa. I saw that shit. He kept saying, who's your diaper daddy? Who's your diaper daddy? <laughs> I saw him doing that. I saw it with my third eye. I go, if you don't believe me, I'll bitch slap you like Shiva. I'll be on you. Eight times, my man, eight times. Don't, don't be pressing the thing in my head. Don't do that. Don't press my BD going ding dong, fuck off! <laughs> because India has the atomic bomb now, my friend. I could turn this place into chicken tikka. <laughs> Pakistan has the bomb too. We were going to fight over Kashmir and your fucking president thought it was a sweater. How stupid are you? <laughs> Here is the drill. Pakistan has the bomb. India has the bomb. Shiva's got Avengers coming on. Also, China has the bomb. Or maybe not. Maybe they just have one billion people go boom. You can't save money anyway. Bah! Also, Russia has the bomb. <laughs> we have many bombs. We don't know where they all are. <laughs> Maybe you want a dirty bomb. <laughs> and our friends, the French, they have the bomb. They have a nuclear force called the force to frap. Frap? Yes. <laughs> Maybe they have a French bomb, like a Michelin bomb. It only destroys restaurants under four stars. <laughs> The French are one of the few people left who still have underground testing. Where do they do it? In the Sahara, a total wasteland? No. In Tahiti. Paradise. Why? Because we're French. <laughs> oh, look, a Greenpeace boat coming to protest our testing. Fuck you, you little seal hugger. <laughs> I sink you. <laughs> I am a badass motherfucker, am I not? Look, I'm giving a cigarette okay, to a baby. Here we go. Smoke, oh smoke, my darling. Life is horrible. Learn the law, lad, my darling. Oh, you Americans, don't give the cigarette to the baby. Fuck off, you. <laughs> you Americans, you crass, low-class Americans. I hate you all. <gasps> the Germans are here. Hello, Americans. <laughs> Hello. Come, come, build a Disneyland here near Paris. We won't go, but build it. And Fantasyland will be full of nice Parisians. Come on in. 
and we'll have a very French mini mouse with armpit hair. <laughs> Smoking a galois, but you are never fucked Mickey, you know that. He has only three fingers. What am I, a bowling ball? I don't think so. Turn right. Because there is one place that watches out for all of us. The Geneva Convention. The Swiss, living in the hollowed out country with their chocolate and their watches and their little leather pants. Get ready to turn left. The nice Germans. Yeah, they are the Swiss. Or as they like to say, the other white race. Now, <laughs> how butch is an army that has a wine opener on its knife? How tough are they in combat? Many of you have never opened Go Chardonnay on. under fire. I don't know, but I've been told Turn Chardonnay left. must be so cold. Yeah. Take out the cork, smell, say meat or fish, and throw. My God. Where did all this Go impressionistic art come from? And all this gold and jewelry from 1941 to 1945. How strange. Fairies must have brought it during the night. All of a sudden, I have Alzheimer's. I've forgotten everything. I must do the Waldheim lick and cough up an account number. I can't help myself. <laughs> but I know one thing. I know there's one country in the world that does not have some horrible weapon of destruction. They don't have some secret weapons lab turning out something to destroy us all. Jamaica. I man. They would never make an atomic bomb. An atomic bomb. Go straight on. But I'd rather fight a war with the atomic bomb. The atomic bomb goes off. There's devastation and irradiation for 10,000 years. The atomic bomb goes off. There's Keep just right. celebration. I and I, not seeing I and I with I and I. I read one nation, Rastafari. Right. Smoke this spliff. That's a communion. And if you don't see Jesus Christ, then you never this will. Is where <laughs> Okay, if you smoke a lot of pot, you may never be a rocket scientist. Or maybe, maybe after seeing some of the things that have happened with NASA, maybe you can. <laughs> okay, okay, oh fuck, okay. Okay, okay, the Mars lander, oh fuck. <laughs> okay, I, I did the calculations in feet. <laughs> but I programmed the lander in meters. <laughs> So instead of landing, it was the Mars barrier. <laughs> Fucker, <laughs> 180 million dollar whoops. <laughs> Two years, black. <laughs> okay, okay, fuck, here's a better one. The Hubble telescope. <laughs> I forgot to put in a lens. <laughs> Read the top line. <laughs> Okay, uh, uh, Alpha Centauri, uh, Sirius, and the rest is just a black hole. Let's do this. Because you see, pot doesn't affect you like alcohol, my man. Alcohol, you can see some really happy people go into a bar at happy hour and see some just happy motherfuckers. You know those guys going, fuck you, my good man. You do not know shit about fuck. You, you want a piece of yourself? <laughs> Step outside. Step outside. I'll kick my ass, my man. <laughs> if you're Irish, you have a running start. You can drink a little bit better than the rest of us. You know that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. The Irishman, well, he may kick your ass, but he'll sing about it afterwards. <laughs> All at night, you said my wife was fat. I knocked you down and shit in your hat. Away you go, the time I feel. Singing away and then you fall. And they drink until they're in their 80s and they're on a dialysis machine doing fucking liver dance. <laughs> Aye, they say the Irish discovered civilization, then had a couple of Guinness and forgot where they fucking put it. <laughs> but other people are affected differently by alcohol. You have a Japanese, very polite during the day. Ohayo I must. Hi, hi, hi. After five Jack Daniels, Tie a yellow ribbon. <laughs> Karaoke. Uh, right. for asshole. <laughs> Drink with the Englishmen. They're very, very elegant. Would you care for a cocktail? Oh, damn right I Go would. Go straight on. After a couple of gin and tonics, they're going, you fucking cunt. How are you? <laughs> but if you really want a linguistic adventure, go drinking with a Scotsman. 
because you can't fucking understand them before. <laughs> I think Katie Ball's up, can you have it? But you're catch it, fake animal, have it. Sure, <laughs> all right, sure, right. But I'm not putting hand on my fucking ass, I'm going to let your bullets about the magazine, right? <laughs> sure, oh, sure. <laughs> then they have a couple of cocktails, and it's like, they start having a vowel movement. It's like, uh, E I O U. Sometimes Y. And besides wearing the skirt, you can understand how they can invent a sport like fucking golf. Hey, <laughs> here's my idea for a sport. I knock Go a fucking on. ball into a gopher hole. <laughs> oh, you mean like pool? No, oh, bullshit. That was a straight stick with a little fucked up piece of wood. <laughs> I whack the ball and it goes into the hole. Like croquet then? Nah, fuck you, croquet! <laughs> Hundreds of fucking yards away! <laughs> oh yeah, whack the ball and it goes in a little fucking and hole. Oh, so it's a straight line. Fuck off, straight line! <laughs> I'll put shit in the way like trees and bushes and grass and bamboo and you gotta walk like a dog with a broken fucking leg and you're whacking away at your ball with a tire iron. And every time you're whacking it, you feel like you're gonna have a stroke. Fuck, that's what we'll call it. A stroke, because every time you miss, you feel like you're fucking gonna die. Turn left. Oh, great, and here's the best part. Oh, fuck a great part. I, right near the end, I'll put a little smooth part, and I'll put a little tiny flag there Go to give you on. hope. <laughs> oh, fucking brilliant. But here's the fucked up part. I'll put a pool and a sandbox next to it. <laughs> and you'll have to drown to get your ball then, asshole. That's a game. And you do that one time? Who oh, fuck no! Eighteen on. fucking times! sport like golf, where you can dress like a pimp and no one cares. <laughs> where you can wear colors that even a blind gay man would go, oh, oh dear on. Christ. <laughs> even the little alligator on your shirt's going, what are you on? <laughs> and it's such an exciting sport, pure athleticism. Whack the ball, get in the cart. <laughs> Whack the ball, get in the cart. <laughs> and the commentary is electrifying. I. We're on the third hole now. Could the crowd be quieter? I'd like to hear the grass grow. I want the guy who does Mexican soccer to do golf one time. Keep left. The ball is rolling. The ball is going to the hole. <gasps> Just to see all those old waspy shits go, oh dear Christ. Oh my God, the Spanish are here, we're fucked. I thought they were just doing the lawn, but they're playing, fuck. Oh no. Because that was their last domain, until Tiger. The son of a black man and a Thai woman, not even a German geneticist could have thought that one up. <laughs> Black athletic prowess, Buddhist concentration, fuck you! <laughs> and he goes to the British Open, played at St. Andrews where they invented the sport, and he's 18 under par, and there's only 18 fucking holes. <laughs> and the old guys are looking around going, oh shit, we're doomed! How the fuck did he learn to play? We wouldn't let him join. Oh, God damn! Pretty soon they have nightmares of golf carts going. <laughs> yo, 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 I'm playing through, whether you're a Gentile or a Jew. Pebble Beach, motherfucker! And then there's boxing. But boxing took a weird turn when all of a sudden Mike Tyson bit somebody. 
Let's get ready to nibble. And all these old guys are going, my God, he bit him. Oh, dear Christ, he bit him. I said, you're lucky he just bit him. Mike just got out of prison. You're lucky he didn't fuck him. Come on. You know, biting people is foreplay in prison. Mike would be going, break it up when I'm finished. Mm -mm, baby. Mike's on Zoloft, too. He said, I'm on Zoloft so I don't kill you motherfuckers. Keep I'm left. going up the dosage, baby. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Because you got all these drugs to make you feel better, like Zoloft, Prozac. I just want to have one drug to encompass it all. We'll call it Fuck It All. Yes. I don't feel anything. I don't care for anything. Fuck it all. I'm sitting in my own shit. I don't care. Fuck it all. But it usually has some horrible side effects, like may cause artificial insemination. A tendency to grow another head. Oh. <laughs> there was a product, a very strange product that they've had in some food. It was called Olestra. And if you looked on your bag of chips, it said, here was a small side effect. It said, it may cause anal leakage. <laughs> I don't really find that a slight side effect. I find that to be a pretty fucked up day. If my ass is leaking, that's bad. If you have an oil slick falling out of your pants, bad fucking day, my man. Hi, Bob, how you doing? Oh, just a little anal leakage. Bob, you want to get out of the pool right now? Kids don't want to play Exxon Valdez. Come on out now. I want a product to help me because, God damn it, look at me. I've had people say, don't wear fur. I'm going, lady, it's me. I am a chia pet. I'm losing it here, I'm growing it here, it's on my back, it's here. I've gone to the zoo and had monkeys kind of look at me like, what are you doing out, man? Here, take this to Kenya, tell them we're still alive. And anyone who thinks zoos are happy places, they're pissed off. They're in stir, and then the ones that have to mate, because you want to build a new wing on the zoo, like, Ling Ling the panda, they go, oh, she is so lonely. So they go to China and they anesthetize another panda, which is kind of redundant. And they bring it back. And they give him a name like Ping Pong. <laughs> but his real name in Chinese is Wu Shu Ka He, bear with balls of steel. And they throw him in the cage and they say, go mate. And he looks at her like, I would never fuck her, you know that. That is one ugly panda bitch. If you were a panda, you would know that's the ugliest fucking panda bitch. They do not get any fucking uglier. I would not fuck her with a koala's dick. Ugly. I would rather lick my own balls than fuck that panda bitch. And there is only one animal who can tell you if she is happy, and that is Coco the gorilla. I met Coco, she saw this, and she went, who is the blue-eyed Simeon? And she motioned to her trainer, and I went, what does she want? She wants you to tickle her, so I tickle her, and she's, oh, oh, oh. And then I see her go, and I go, what does that mean? She wants you to lift your shirt. I went, okay. I lift my shirt, and she reaches out with both hands and grabs both my nipples. <laughs> At that point, you go, well, if an 800-pound gorilla's got you by the tits, you listen. <laughs> But something else kind of interesting happened. My balls went, somebody wants to play. <laughs> Should we go to phase two? No, do not go to phase two. I repeat, do not go to liftoff. Manual override, manual override. Feels like a human is not a human. Notice the prehensile thumb. Do not go to liftoff, do not go to liftoff. But she must have sensed something because she grabbed me by the hand and starts to take me in the back. And all of a sudden, this doctari meets deliverance. And I'm thinking the crocodile hunter is going to walk out and go, Oh, crikey. She really wants to fuck his brains out. Danger, danger, danger. It's like that time I put my finger in a croc's cloaca. This could get ugly, boys and girls. But part of me went, 
Could be fun. Be a great story for a bar. The guy's going, I had a wild night in Vegas once. I fucked a gorilla. <laughs> Where's everybody going? You don't want to get that late night phone call. Ring. Hello. <laughs> maybe it's because I'm 50. Maybe it's because you hit that certain age and things don't work the same way. Now your prostate is bigger than your ego. And it starts in your 40s where you have to go to the doctor for the old. <laughs> First time I went, I was like, oh, oh my God. I'm just putting on the glove, Mr. Williams. I went back a couple of months later, I moaned another doctor's name. Don't do that. <laughs> Who's Dr. Smith? I don't know. You're the only one. And now I sympathize when the ladies go to the gynecologist. You do not want a doctor who also has a hobby, like you do not want a gynecologist who is also a magician. <laughs> How are we today? Oh, oh look, a dove. Oh. <laughs> And Mr. Bunny! <laughs> oh, what are these? What are these? What are these? What are these? Is this your card? I don't want a proctologist who's also a ventriloquist. How are you doing today? I'm great. Are you having a good day? Yeah, take your hand out of my ass. I'm not a Muppet. Come on. Because when you hit 50, it's no longer the old digits. It's the orthoproctoscope. Same thing that W went through. It's basically a video camera on the end of a Roto-Rooter. And it's going up you. <laughs> you are your own Discovery Channel special. Jacques Caca going slowly. We are going up Robin's backside. Up ahead, a burger he had in 85. And then you see something. Oh my God, that's a polyp. No, that's a fart, Mr. Williams. You're okay. And then to go farther up the old wazoo, they blow air up your ass. Now you're a fucking party favor. No, give it to us, I'm okay. Let her rip. I'm the Michelin man. And I know the air's coming this way, the farts are going, incoming. It's not a finger, fall back behind the shit. Wait for my command to make the wet, sloppy noise. Because the moment they pull that thing out of your ass, you are an Evan Rood. <laughs> 40 miles of air, flowing, flowing, flowing. Keep that colon rolling, raw. You pull your pants up, you're still blowing away. You're like a balloon spinnaker on an America's Cup race. And then you realize, oh shit, fire in the hole! Tighten the cheeks, you bastards, you don't want to lose it here. Thank you, doctor, see you next week. Hold the elevator! Fuck you! Everybody you pass, you have to go, it's me. <laughs> Taxi! <laughs> Dogs are going, roll over, man, you're dead. I just want to borrow a match and go, excuse me. <laughs> flaming asshole! Because that's what you are, you're 50, you're a flaming asshole! You've hit the wall, ha 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 ha! Because what can they do for you? Can they develop a drug so you won't have to go through all of that? No. Can they develop a drug to give you complete mental clarity into your golden years? No. No, but they can develop a drug to make you harder than Chinese algebra. <laughs> Thank you, medical science. Bob Dole knows, yes. Grandpa could have wood again. God, you're God, you God, you're I don't need the walker. I see that. <laughs> and just when your grandmother's going, oh shit, I thought the war was over. <laughs> Give me a tetanus shot if you're gonna stick me with that rusty thing. Get out. <laughs> and it's amazing. Used to be you had to find some Chinese aphrodisiac like hummingbird testicle and rhino horn. 
But now, thanks to Viagra, you are hard. Like hard. Like Frankencock. Like the inseminator, you are back and bigger than ever. And you are not on the same schedule. You are no longer on the biological clock. You are on Viagra time. It's one hour and one hour and 45 minutes, and a lot of guys are going, yeah, and a lot of women are going, no. Because after the first hour, your wife's going, oh, yay, oh, oh, big daddy, oh, oh. Listen, I got shit to do, okay? <laughs> oh, oh, sure, okay, oh, oh, yay, oh, yay. Ring, hello. <laughs> it's fucking Viagra, it's like, yeah, I've been out for an hour. Go outside with that thing. And you can't go out of the room because the cat's just waiting to go. I don't get away from me. And the dog's going, you too. And you can't go to work going, hi, Bob, hi, Pete. Glad to be here today. I'll just go outside and direct traffic. You can't do it and you can't make it go away. You beat the shit out of it. It's like, ha, 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 ha. Not today, my good man. You think of things like Carol Channing doing yoga, won't help! <laughs> you have to finish it off! And in the old days, it was like, oh, oh, yay. But after an hour and 45 minutes, you have more semen than the Fifth Fleet. <laughs> so when you go, it's like, whoa, yeah, my eyes! And your wife goes, now you know how it feels, asshole. <laughs> da, ba, aim for the tits, Hawkeye! Get out of here, save yourself! I'm a lawn boy! Not the drapes, too fucking late! And all of a sudden you run out of semen and your testicles are going, we still have an erection here, my man! I'm gonna be firing off blood, urine, whatever I find! Oh, fuck this thing! The erection from fucking hell! Dear God, you make every goofy fucking face you've ever known! Fuck this! I'll never do it again! Fah! Fah! Don't touch it. Don't even look at it. Don't think about it. Because you, you realize that God gave you a penis and a brain, and only enough blood to run one at a time. People say to me after seeing that, they go, do your kids see that? I went, no. <laughs> Daddy's not hurting mommy, we're just doing magic, it's okay. You don't want them to come in going, what is that, position 12? It's not like what I saw online. My son actually, who was 10, saw me performing on the Dennis Miller show and came up afterwards and said, Father, you have to set limits. <laughs> She's like, thank you, my tiny conscience. My little Mormon friend. And all of a sudden, my son has become Sylvester the Cat's son, like, oh, Father, must you embarrass me? It's frightening, though, how bright he is. It's this amazing thing where basically it's like child 2.5. You know, he's there, he's playing video games, it's like kitty crack anyway. He's like... <laughs> he's also instant messaging, he's doing his homework, he's on the phone, you, and I walk in going, you are very bright. <laughs> I, what, what is this? It's a cold fusion laser I made with Legos. <laughs> Don't touch it. Fine, fine. I have a weird feeling that one day he's just going to come up and go, I'm letting you go. I, I found you a family in Korea. Great. <laughs> Maybe his sister will still care for me. She's sweet. She's 12. And hormones are kicking in, and all of a sudden your karma is right in front of you. There she is with little breasts. I'm going, no, please, no. Because I know soon boys will be outside the house like cats. <laughs> Can your daughter come out? And your daughter, come out, <laughs> Honey, get the hose. <laughs> Forget the liberal shit. Get away! Go home and play the home game like I did. Get out of here! 
Or like her 14-year-old brother who would take Keep those right three-hour showers. I'm going, dear God, down. man, I know what you're doing. <laughs> you don't need to catch and release. You don't have to watch him out to sea. Exit Come out of right. there. What are you doing, Keep boy? Right. And then turn right. And then I found a condom. It was used, and I was going, <gasps> and pardon turn me, went, right. whoa. <laughs> and I thought, oh, God, I've got to have that talk. <sighs> Son, I have to talk to you about drugs. And he went, what do you need? Go straight on. Karma! I guess you know why your middle name is Codeine. Okay, let's get that out of the way. And they're Eddie Haskell until you say the one word, no. So they come in going, Dad, God, your mom look great tonight. What do you want? The car. No. Fuck the bullshit! That's total fucked up shit, old man. Bullshit, you and the bitch trying to keep me in the house. Me and the homies don't want to chill. We want to leave the crib because I'm going out looking for a little trim. Motherfucker. I'm going, yo, excuse me, Snoop, but the last time I remember you were a rich white kid. Because all the shit he's doing to me, I know my parents are rejoicing in heaven going, oh, payback's a bitch. Turn left. Ah, whether you're poor or whether you're rich, ah, you got to know payback's a bitch because all that time you had your fun. All that time you were on the run. All that stuff you ever done is all coming back to number one because everything you ever do, all that's coming back to you. Because all the times, all the push, all the shove is like Mother Teresa says, you can do no great things, but only small things with great amounts of love. Good night. Maybe it's not the Grim Reaper. Maybe it's the Grim Rapper. Maybe it's just some guy that comes for you and goes like, you know, yo, yo, yo. It's time to go. You've lost all your fluids, your vital sap. Time to get ready for the big dirt nap. I'm telling you this with all my heart. You've had it from the beginning, from the very start. Whether you're going down below or whether you're going up above, there's only one thing that you've got to know. The only one thing that matters. Those were the days, my friend. We thought they'd never end. We'd sing and dance forever and a day. Yo, yo. We'd live the life we choose. We'd fight and never. When you're 16, you're invincible. When you're 18, you're invincible and know every fucking thing. You're in love for the first time. I'm in love. It's over. I can't live without Susan. But wait, there's Becky. On to 18, where you're like, there is nothing like death. Maybe someone dies, but it's freaky shit. Like a friend dies when you're 18, it's like, oh fuck, dude. Car wreck. But I'm still invincible. And then you get to be 20, and it's like, not only are you invincible, you can get loaded for the first time and be really an asshole. Going, oh man, I'm invincible. Blah. Drug 
this man. I'm glad I kicked him off that now. Well, maybe I'll just have one last. Okay. I'm okay. <laughs> You know, I'll quit it when I'm 30, and then finally you hit 30, and another couple of friends die, and you go, oh, can't be doing blow and have a kid because you'll be going, Daddy wants to play. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. You want to play with that? <laughs> and the judge said alimony, but he really meant all the money, and it's okay. And, it's like, and it was like, you know, it's okay. You'll, get, you'll, you'll gain it back. And then a, a, a friend dies of a heart attack, and you're going, Doc, this time put your finger in my ass, okay? <laughs> yeah, do the complete MRI. That's good. Blood, urine, stool, just take my underwear. Here you go. There you go. Um, and then you get 50, and then your parents start to die. Now I'm an orphan and I'm fucking 50. And uh, you hit 60 and then you go beyond and maybe you hit 70 and you're looking around going, oh, I, re I remember. What's your name? And you get 80 and 90 and uh, 80. It's still good. You're still good. You're still vital. The gold in you. And a lot of people are going, yeah, a little tarnished, but gold. Is there sex in heaven? No. Yo, 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 you're coming with me now Seeing how you're feeling and you know somehow I'm gonna take you down without a sound I'm gonna bury your ass in the ground Put out, put away, come on and say Life is over, you got to pay Let your soul fly up, let your heart be free Come on now, baby, you're coming with me Take care of yourself I want to thank you on coming out in this Iditarod kind of weather. That kind of thing where people in Chicago go, it's not that cold, all right? When my nipples are like diamonds, then I'll call you. People are going, is that cold enough for you? No, I'm not a fucking Eskimo. It's cold enough for me. This is very beautiful, though. This is kind of, so this is Donald Trump's living room. Great. Lifestyles of the rich and famous. Watch out soon, life stools of the rich and famous. Uh-oh, someone's had corn or caviar. Watch out, we've got them here tonight on the Coco Channel. I like what you've done with the uh, lovely soldier's field. You did kind of a Coliseum thing now. Kind of a Maximus Hale kind of thing. We just decided to tear it down. We're gonna have another Kaminsky field and just fucking piss people off again. Don't be afraid. We had a thousand, uh, what he had, a hundred thousand seat stadium, now we'll seat 60,000 people. Ha ha! Hey, the Bulls won three games in a row. Thank you, Jesus! Thank you, Lord! Jerry Krause, you fucking idiot, what are you doing? God! Wasn't it Jerry Krause who said, winning a championship is about management? It's like the captain of the Titanic saying, piloting a large boat is about navigation. <laughs> yes, when you start selling off your major players, it's saying, fuck the lifeboats, we don't need them. <laughs> we can win without that crazy Pippin, that Rodman, that bad Coco, fuck all. We've lost, sir. <laughs> what do I care? I'm in Chicago where the dead can vote. Yes! Where the voters of today are found in the obituaries of tomorrow. Get ready to turn right. You don't have any of that crazy Miami stuff, you know, no missing the ballots. No, I didn't know. I thought you vote left to right. I didn't. When the dead turn vote, right. it's Shirley MacLaine time. I'm channeling a lot of votes. Coming through, don't be afraid. Where's Mork? Well, you know, my friend, I do this to kind of forget about him. But it's so great though, you can be doing, I could win like, you know, I have an Academy Award, all this other shit, but you can have the Nobel Prize and it'd still go, where's more? <laughs> and people come up and say the weirdest shit like, you did that movie, what was that called? Pork and Simbi, what's that movie? <laughs> what was that name? Diddy Diddy, Zooby Zooby, Zappy Zappy, what was that thing? Mork, yeah! 
It's also great when little kids come up and go, my father watched you when he was my age. Great, thank you. <laughs> Get away! Why don't you tell me I'm dying, too? Go on, go on, get away, get away! This has been a great night. Thanks, this is the first night of the tour, so it's like, get out and try it. <laughs> Hello, sir, how are you? Are you escorting her? He's with you, the large man, your son. So it's a family night. Nice to bring mom to a show like this. <laughs> Afterwards, a couple of beers, go see a stripper, it's a full night. <laughs> what are you doing with the apple? Don't ask. <laughs> Sorry, I heard about the mayor and I'm going, that's biblical, let's just leave it alone. <laughs> Woo. What did she do? She can core it without her hand. That's a trick, even Clinton's going, I want to meet this girl. <laughs> I guess we're here in this place for you. you basically, you, uh, you eat cheese, sausage. What else do you eat that doesn't block your colon? <laughs> so I go on, we, yeah, we eat a lot of sausage here and uh, cheese and shit that just backs you up like the Michelin man. <laughs> oh, don't you know that stuff right there? I can't crap. I passed an entire cheese log the other day. <laughs> Nuts and all, the damn thing just went right through me. I have to drink this because your river's not drinkable anymore. <laughs> Cryptosporidium, that's what you have here, isn't it? What the fuck is that? <laughs> Even Superman's going, fuck it, I'm not going in. <laughs> I can't go in the lake. It has cryptosporidium. Whatever it is, it's not acceptable. Even the fish are going, kill me. I guess you've been named now the lesbian capital of USA, which is... All the sisters in comfortable shoes are going, mm-hmm. What drew you here? Was it the Harley Davidson or the Kotex factory? What was it? What brought you? So maybe tonight we could raise some money to help your state budget. I guess you're a little bankrupt right now. It's okay. You're selling off your state planes, which I didn't know you had that many. You have 27 planes. You're selling off 23 of them at a million point five. For 23 planes, I'm a little afraid of that bargain. First of all, I want to see who folded those motherfuckers. Secondly, check for a rubber band, because nothing's that cheap. All right, this is from the Milwaukee Air Force. Come on. She drove all the way from Beacon Hill. Bless you to come here. All the folks from Beacon are down here going, damn it, don't start the show, little white man, till I'm here. <laughs> Paid a shitload of cash. I'm going to see the damn thing. Work for me, monkey boy. Here we go. <laughs> nice to be here. I've noticed that you're still conducting the excavation, and I'm very happy about that. <laughs> yes. Yes. Very soon, you'll be able to bury Pharaoh. <laughs> what do you call it? We call it the money pit, asshole. What are you talking about? Hey, it's nice that you hired the Chunnel people to build it for you, though. It's a big dig. We're eventually going to connect with England. Yes, yeah, soon, my friend. Like... Soon, you will be there. Oh, maybe you dig through to China. They will pay for it. <laughs> oh, there, we will find it. We will dig all the way through, and then you'll have a tunnel, and traffic will be less, but you will be in Shanghai. Turn left. We have nothing else to do except just put money in a fucking hole. <laughs> the big dig, yeah, no shit, baby. <laughs> but it's nice, one day you'll get it done and go, I remember when there were cars. <laughs> By then, you'll all be floating in hover cars going, what the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, that's about. I want to thank if there's anybody here from MIT, you know who they are. They're the people who actually can heckle beautiful minds. <laughs> they actually sit there going, the formulas are wrong. <laughs> it's a finite formula. <laughs> finite! 
MIT, the only place in the world where Stephen Hawking can do comedy. <laughs> Rene Dicar walks into a bar. The bartender says, would you like a beer? And Rene says, I think not, and he disappears. <laughs> the Wang! I know. All of a sudden, you are playing the Wang. I know of all the people going, that's very obscene, never say that again. You're on the Wang. I am on Wang now. The new wing of the Wang, donated by Mr. Wong, the Wong wing of the Wang. <laughs> or as we like to say, Fenway with cleaner bathrooms. <laughs> this is nice to be here in this uh, city of brotherly love. Freeze! <laughs> Your daughter brought you here? This is mom. Okay. <laughs> kind of a Jerry Springer kind of night, I guess. I'm gonna tell that man, I'm gonna tell that man, I never did that man. I'm a big woman, men love big women. Oh, baby, uh-huh. I saw one where a midget was cheating on his wife. He's my little man. No shit. And it's like... I love you, baby, I love you, baby. And then he got in a fight and the guy's going, what are you gonna do, Wizard of Oz me? Come on! I'll kick your ass. You better get a stool first, motherfucker. See, I'm sorry, I, I have to drink this. I'm not really gonna sample your Skokel Punch. I'm really sorry. I think you have to worry when your river gets that kind of creme brulee thing going, you know? When you can go, I'm Jesus. No, you're not, it's just polluted. Shut up. I'm gonna walk to Camden. Good fucking luck, walk. I also thank you for your local food. I had one of your Philadelphia cheesesteaks and dear Christ, that thing is... Oh, as I ate it, I realized it's not going to leave me. <laughs> it's a food with a half-life, my friend. I imagine they'll find my remains and they'll still be going, Thomas, come here, look. It's a skeleton and a cheesesteak. Sorry, I'm a little late. I asked somebody where Peachtree was, and fuck. Oh, God. We got Peachtree Road, Peachtree Lane, Peaches and Cream, Peachy King, Peach Knops Lane. Man, you're like a damn compass near North. You don't know where to go. Just keep going till you get to the pit. I guess there's smoke in the air. They must be working up in Noble today. Yeah, baby. I know. If you feel ill up there, try and just cross the state line. I said I wanted my mama cremated, not smoke cured. You don't leave her there till winter. Just add water and she's back. What were they giving his ashes? Well, he used to substitute concrete. I knew it was bad when we threw Grandma in the lake and she set up. <laughs> well, obviously you've rebuilt since Sherman. Things are looking good. <laughs> CNN, the home of Ted. I guess Ted and Jane are, they gone now? Oh, I guess she found God and Ted found out it wasn't him. Nice to be here. Such a beautiful day today. Oh, Lord, those cherry blossoms are almost in bloom. Let me water some of these plants just to... It's not marijuana, Mr. Nixon. It's not marijuana. They found some more tapes. Oh, God bless us. Nixon saying, you know, the Jews want to legalize pot because they're all psychiatrists. Yeah, Dick, what else do you want to talk about? No, Henry, you're a good Jew. I like you. And all those homosexuals, what, what, what are you going with? They're all out in Northern California. And what about the Greeks? That's what caused it. It was the homosexual Greeks, like Socrates and Aristotle. Henry, are you a Jewish homosexual? No, Dick. Oh, good. Roy Cohen's online, too. I'll be right there. God, what was he on? He, I guess nothing.
He was out of his fucking mind. Henry, can we nuke the North Vietnamese? No, dig the hole. Damn. I want to use the toys. But I did drive by the, uh, the George Bush Center for Intelligence today, and I went... Wow! So he's got a place to go. That's so good that you're working with him. Today, sir, we're gonna learn not to wave at blind musicians. Does he leave phone messages for Marley Maitland, too? I don't know. Marley, pick up, it's George. Pick up! It is so nice to be here in the Daughters of American Revolution Constitution Hall. Yes! They must be really goddamn old by now. Do they consider Sally Hemings as a sister of the revolution, maybe? Most of you are going, who the fuck is that? That was Thomas Jefferson's old lady, you know what I'm saying? You know, Tom was just saying, yo, Sally, stick with me, girl. You stay with me, I'll make you Get first mate. Come on. Grab some kids. Uh, Tom, you want to finish writing the first draft? I'll be right back. Girl, stay there. I'll be right there. You know? Turn Let's left. try the first draft again. Uh, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all rich white men wearing wigs are created equal. What do you think? Lose the wigs. Fine. Betsy Ross, what do you think? You assholes. <laughs> Guess your uh, baseball season starts tomorrow, is that, uh, or today? Was it today? Obviously, you give a shit. I see. <laughs> We're so excited, the Indians! Woo! Yeah, baby. Not as shitty as the Cavaliers, though, you know that. God damn, you bring a pair of sneakers to a Cavalier game, they'll let you play. It's Good. Uh, good luck with the Browns this year. Try not to throw the bottles, okay? It's... Where the fuck did you think you were? South America? I want my to eat. Yeah, but you don't have Art Modell. You're safe now. You're okay. His new name, Osama Ben Modell. Hiding out somewhere in a cave in upstate. Thank you. I'm sorry, if you're gonna heckle, just wait one fucking second. You have to make an actual sound. You can't just go... Don't give me that Willie Nelson on mellow shit. He already gave me the plant, so let's not worry about... These are all medicinal. These are all medicinal pot plants. Why can't they let old people have medicinal pot? They're not gonna sell it. Your grandmother's not... Hey, I've got some dynamite weed. Come here. What happened, Grandma? I just knit a caftan for the garage. Who could have did for Willie? My God, even Buddha's going, that guy, he's mellow. These people are obviously not coming, huh? Paid good fucking money and now they don't show up. Or is this for the Bush twins? Bush girls are coming, everybody be quiet. They bought some adult seats. Girl, you can't use the ID two times in a row. So since the Bush girls aren't coming, we can diss their dad, okay, good. Oh, I'm sorry, you're going, he started here, we don't talk about him. He's a good man in many Get ways. Get ready to turn right. So what if he doesn't speak well? I also saw Leslie, who was your downtown transvestite. Turned right. Having come from San Francisco, I'm not shocked. I'm like going, the Speedo's a nice touch, though. I mean, the banana hammock and the tits. That's like Bozo had a kid, I don't know. I come here a lot because I come here for the ride for the roses. I ride with Mr. Armstrong. Thank you. 
I'm sponsored by Viagra. I ride hard, I ride long. Many times I don't need a kickstand for my bike, you'll understand. Thank you, nice to be here. Verizon, there. Fuck, great, there. Verizon, reception. Fucking A. Someone gave me this, which is kind of cool. I have one of the last Enron Field hats. So. Woo! I guess you're up for a new name now, huh? Fifth Amendment Field won't fit. Up Shit Creek Field. You know, Arthur Anderson wanted to have a stadium, but then the seats would have to turn both ways. <laughs> what are you gonna do then? Shredder Field? No. Home of the Shredders? No, you can't do that. But isn't Houston where they have the artificial breast, right? Or the breast implant? Put a big nipple on that fucker. Call it the Titty Dome. Call it the Houston Tits and Astros. Do it! Yeah, but so far the Texans are right on. <laughs> Texans are undefeated, Mr. Williams. And they better not buy that team out from under our ass. Because you're going to pull that team to Tennessee and call them the Tennessee Texans. Fuck off with that. That's why we named them Texans. They're going to stay. Damn, those people still coming in. There's just one last drink and then continue straight on. I want to be properly medicated for the boy. Go straight on. I have been all day on Bourbon Street, so this is just a continuation. I've also had a poor boy, so if I have to leave, you'll understand why. <laughs> Lord, child. Damn thing hit my lower track and went, whoa! You never had a fried oyster before? Brace yourself! At two faith, yeah, baby. But this is burnt. But we call it blackened. Put down there, make all them prints, spicy things all there. Put it on there, but Paul Prudhomme hauling his big ass around. Cook in the kitchen there. Put all the dang in the steak there. Put all the grease all over the motherfucker there, and sell it to the big people up north, and they'll be getting fat as me. Don't be afraid to grease the chicken. Put it on there. I think fuck them fly out of the pan. Put it back in. Slide your hand in the chicken's ass. Make it feel good before it dies. There. There you go. Put a breadcrumb. Slap around there. Put it inside there. Hey, Sorry. There are foods down here. I went, what is that? You don't want to know. That's a crocodile tit. What we do share is take the crocodile, take the titties off. Lightly baste them and I put it in a sauce. Serve it with its own milk. It's so good. It's nice to be here today with that lovely kind of nuclear spring. Flowers are like Anne Hesch. They're out, they're in, they're out. I don't know. I can't deal with it. I was very happy today. I walked, well, I didn't actually have to walk outside. It's kind of like the downtown habit trail thing you've got going. It's great. <laughs> Hamsters must go, this is big. <laughs> you just go from building to 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 building. Never outside. People are going, I've been in Minneapolis for 40 years. I've never seen the outside. I understand, though, that during the winter, it's like, what, is it a thousand below or like? I really don't think it gets any colder. Oh, don't ya know? Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. All oh, right, and there's, I know people are going, we don't all talk like that, but a few of you fucking do. You have 10,000 lakes, and Jesse Ventura will not jump into one of them. <laughs> God damn it! Oh, 
sound. But it's Seattle, you're just happy you have the fucking sun today. <laughs> Woo! You're all outside two days in a row, you're going, thank you, great spirit. I am sorry we cannot find a virgin to sacrifice, but we thank you. Will you take a heavily Keep pierced right person instead? And then turn right. Do not be afraid. Oh, oh. oh nice to see right. people are demonstrating again. People are back out. Just, what are you protesting? Fuck all, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I am a nihilist. Support the United Nihilist Party. Matter of fact, left. don't support us. I don't want your support. As a nihilist, I offer you nothing. I promise you nothing. I want nothing. Don't vote for Get nihilism. Turn right. I was thinking of quitting coffee, but this isn't the town, I guess. Turn right. Kind of like opening a Betty Ford in Colombia. Not a good idea. Hey, so you want to quit drugs? What a fucking dumb idea to come here, huh? Friday. Every five feet. We are Starbucks? Here. Yeah! Tully's? Yeah, Seattle's best? Yeah, baby. Do you want a cappuccino? No, I want an El Pacino. I want hot coffee right up the fucking nose. And give me the steamed milk in the ass. I'm that kind of man. Do it! Meanwhile, J. Edgar Hoover dressed as a woman across town. No. Yes, people who don't know that. He was a G-string man. Looking for Elliot Ness, trying to find John Dillinger's dick to put it on Einstein's brain and have someone who could fuck all night and talk about it for the rest of eternity. What does that mean? Wow. We've got deaf signers, people in the wrong seats. Welcome to Portland. God damn! This is nice. Hi, you folks. Don't be afraid. I don't stage dive yet. <laughs> I like your museum of punk history here. That was really nice, too, to actually see people with a mohawk and I'll go, fucking all right. <laughs> Things I haven't seen since 78. Fucking I. <laughs> Sid Nancy alive. Fuck off alive. It's nice to be here in uh, your lovely city. I guess you folks are having a problem. You're trying to keep your assisted suicide thing going, and I saw the Kevorkian chicken place. That's okay. <laughs> None of these chickens, they took their own life. Don't be afraid. There's no bad karma. Come on down to the sign of the Kevorkian chicken. <laughs> they put Kevorkian in prison. If he basically does lethal ejection, does that apply his work study? A lot of people go, maybe? Is it Ashcroft that won't let you do that? It's like Ashcroft's going, you can't kill people. I can, though. <laughs> so, no! God damn, we're in Vegas. Oh, Lord! You don't need drugs here. There's fucking pyramids and fairy castles. It's like, oh, what's wrong? Fuck, man. There's a pyramid and a fucking Caesar and shit going on. Even H.G. Wells is going, something is wrong. Every time period's here making money. And then Siegfried and Roy. At that point, I'm going, okay, game's over, man. It's like Liberace meets the Discovery Channel. It's... Those cats! Those cats are the closest thing to pussy those eyes will ever see. So, man, It's nice to be here in Toronto, or as I like to say, with this heat and garbage, New York North. <laughs> God bless you. All right. Welcome to our fucking world, eh? Canadians working out trying to be rude. Fuck off, eh? <laughs> you haven't got it down yet. You haven't got that whole nasty shit down yet. You're trying. We're having a big problem in America right now in the Pledge of Allegiance. You can't say one nation under God, so I've come up with one solution. One nation under Canada, above Mexico. <laughs> Thank you. I know. 
but you, God bless your mayor, Mel. He's certainly done a great goddamn job. <laughs> Hello, I'm Mel Lastman. Come on down to Mel's house of garbage. Pick up something on the way. Incredible deals. Come on down. I'm a small man with bad hair. Come on down. You're in deep shit, and it's hot, too. <laughs> and Mel says the garbage strike's going to go till October. Uh-uh. <laughs> first time you get a couple of rats going, is there anything else we haven't eaten yet? I think Mel knows now that we're here for a while. <laughs> Mel, maybe you should get a flute and try and lead us down to the lake. <laughs> I guess you lost Raul Mondesi. He's going away, traded for two minor league players. That should be great for his ego. <laughs> and you lost Cujo, which is just because of the fucking name. That's a good idea. All right. I didn't pay for it, don't look at me. <laughs> With a name like Cujo as a goalie, it's Cujo. <laughs> I know you're having an economic crisis, but it's hard to take you seriously when you say the loony is down. <laughs> so. Oh, I feel so sorry for you. The loony, what about the spiffy and the grabby? What about that? You have animals on your money. Hey buddy, can you spare a beaver? Come on. <laughs> I was amazed I even got in the country. The immigration is so tight. Do you have a degree? No. Do you speak two languages? Uh, bonjour. <laughs> but of course, you have a prime minister, Jean Chrétien, who talks like that on one side of his mouth, eh? That's all right, huh? Jean Chrétien, the only man, I don't need a fucking secret service. A guy goes to hit me, I fucking knock him out, eh? <laughs> I'm not afraid. I pummel him, I knock him out. But I come from uh, Quebec, who keeps wanting to break away from Canada, but they still want to keep the currency. Oh, whoa, that's a really good move. That's like a kid who's going, fuck off, I'm leaving home, but could you still lend me money? <laughs> All right, uh, I still want to be on mom's tit. All right. But that is all right. You cannot have for everything, you know, but that's part of it. I don't mind talking like him. I stop it. <laughs> I also want to thank you uh, for building Camden Yard. That's a damn nice stadium. You did a good job. Thanks to you, all over the country, people built new baseball stadiums all across America. Even the ghost of Babe Ruth is going, God, that's really nice stadium, nice stadium. So good to be here on Memphis today. I did go to Graceland, or as I like to say, Club Medicated. <laughs> I didn't know Ray Charles had a decorating license, but it, there's a really, there's some wild colors. There's colors in there you don't see in daylight. <laughs> Sonny Ray, I'd give me my gun, Bob Goulet. No, it's... Hence, you could buy a shirt like this and not care. <laughs> There's things in there that's very tactile. The, the jungle room is designed to be... Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Made by people with a big chainsaw going, Fuck it, Elvis bought everything. <laughs> It's so nice you built that pyramid. It's nice to have a Colosseum you can see from fucking Uranus. <laughs> I like driving into the city going, oh, dear Christ! <laughs> yeah, that's our Colosseum. We have to pull over till the sun sets. <laughs> Soon the chicken will be done. <laughs> and God, you, you let Mike fight here. Way to go. <laughs> Oh, yeah! Mike likes it so much, he's gonna open a barbecue place. It's gonna be called Mike's Bucket of Ears. <laughs> Come on down. This is Music City, USA. This is nice. But right now, I guess you're wondering, you're gonna have to make money somehow. It's gonna be, welcome to the Tennessee Telethon. We're gonna raise money or the state's gonna fucking shut down. <laughs> Come on down. It's either 6% or a huge bake sale. <laughs> Come on down. A bullet tax. I don't fucking know what. <laughs> and it's nice that Al's moving back and he bought a $2.5 million mansion right here in Nashville just so he can be near the people. Amen. <laughs> yeah.